Somebody's got to be the fucking adult in the room. Or the adult in the street. One of the damn two. Grow the fuck up. And it sounds simple for me to even say this. And hell, even sometimes it is kind of tough to do that when you are out there. But God damn it, be an adult. This is where us black men, I got to tell you, this is where we fuck up. Yes, these cops are on some of that bullshit. Some of that bullshit? No, a lot of it. I get it. But, bruh, don't try to sit up there and ar- don't try to stand or sit. I don't give a fuck or, you know, don't try to argue with them. Just get their cards. The video evidence is right there. They did the wrong thing. They went and got the wrong man. And then they had to uncuff you. Bruh. And now that shit's on tape. And it's out here, went viral for the whole world to see. That's their ass. Especially at a trying time like now. So don't, the the only thing I had a problem with in the video I was shown, I think it happened where, Rochester, New York, Rochester, and these two cops mistaken the guy for some type of dude that fit a description, and they were wrong for that, you know. And then they got their asses handed to them. They got their asses handed to them part should not happen so early. That should happen in a courtroom. That should happen with an internal affairs or review board or whatever the fuck they do. Use the process. Let them get their whooping. Don't try to hold court in the street. Because, um, dare I say this, this is probably how a lot of these guys, mostly black men, die this is how most of them die even if they are um, even if they are unarmed even if they're the wrong man stop trying to hold court in the street and stop trying to run okay you know let the counselor speaks for that if they're wrong let the counselor speak if you wrong take your motherfucking ass to jail Take some ownership for your shit, fam. And now, on the other side of things, let me talk to you dipshit Karens. Y'all like to sit in your little fucking hover rounds and all this shit and get entitled to all this other extra shit. This is why those strag ass bitches whooped your ass playing like your police of a fucking store. They ain't paying you for shit, ho. What the fuck are you doing standing by a goddamn target? They ain't paid your check. Hello? They ain't sending you none of that. And then to turn around for your old ass to get out of your hover around and walk like, like not a goddamn thing happened. See, the victim points. That's why we got this thing called a smartphone. And the shit that you used to get away with, Karen, we're catching you for it. Cut it out. Somebody's got to be the fucking adult in the room. You know what I mean? Yeah. I need to take time off. I need to fucking take time off. Because somebody got to be the bigger adult in this room. Fuck what you guys are talking about, okay? The best thing you must know is that if the wronging, uh, I mean, damn, whatever the name of the story is, big business, large cap company, they don't give a fuck about you. They got insurance. What the fuck are you doing standing there? do not need you that's why somewhere in there these people you know not even the store's members are told not to confront or apprehend some stores do some of them send their asset protection manager after your ass 
and then the cops. All right? They don't need you, Miss Hero. All right? You know? And that's why you got your ass whooped by some strags. I'm not even, you know, I don't defend the strags for their wrongdoing no more than I defend your victim Karen shit. You know? You just, do you think you're justified for letting this shit burn down? Don't. Now, it's a bunch of motherfuckers that went stir crazy over a longer winter. And they're acting stupid after the fact. You know, I'm done with it. Again, someone's got to be the bigger adult in the room. Take ownership for their shit. It sounds simple, baby, but it ain't. All right, man. I'm going to get on out of here. 